Williams checks into the backfield. They pass out the screen. It's snuffed out for a loss. Looking for Daniel George. Both teams have been uber aggressive right there. Great job defeating the block, getting them on the ground. Isaiah Holmes not going far. Yeah, they ro front. rotate guys through. Both these teams do. They rotate a lot of guys through. On second and seven. Blitz coming off the edge. And he's cut down. Taiwan Mullen flashing through to sack Vedral. They're accounting for everybody up front, and he's coming off the edge untouched. That's He's got to be able to spot that. Pressure from the edge. Nicely tripped up there. Great play. Taiwan Mullen. And so he sees him in the slot, right? And then he takes his eyes off him because he's looking down the field, and that's when Mullen's able to get in. See how his eyes are to the left? Aaron Young and K-Ron Adams in the backfield with Vedral. Take the shot here. Looking deep. Has time. Now that protection breaks down. And Taiwan Mullen does it again. Mullen involved in three different sacks today. Some good moments for this Michigan offense. Inconsistent throw through the first two games as they handed off to Chris Evans and he stopped it behind the scrimmage. On third and five, they bring five. It's picked up, giving Milton time, but it's incomplete as he tried to thread it through to Jackson. And Taiwan Mullen broke it up, fourth down. 47 seconds, still that one timeout. First down from the 48 yard line. Milton steps up over the middle and through the hands and incomplete as Mullen had a chance to intercept it. Told you about the eyes of these Indiana corners. Mullen slides in and plays a little nickelback as well. And ultimately lost by three. Pressure coming. Milton has a wide open man out of the backfield and Charbonnet, but didn't get rid of it. And they're going to say that it's a fumble and a recovery by Indiana. Okay, this is a corner blitz that is that far from the slot. This is not off your edge. And he never shows. There's no tell whatsoever. The inexperienced Milton has no idea that ball and that hit is coming. Now, is the arm moving forward? Under further review. Really close. Real close and absolutely worth review. Number 13, Wisconsin, had its last two games canceled, taking on Michigan. Here's a deep ball into double coverage and an interception by Mullen. His knee was down, but it is a pick. Mullen with the interception against Lombardi. And watch him. He's going to run off, and then he's going to peel back on the underthrown deep ball. This is beautifully done. I mean, look at him turn. He sees the balls in the air. He reverses course, but of course, the throw not very good. Feeling the receiver, but keeping your eyes on the quarterback and tracking straight to the football. Huge play for Michigan State. Lombardi comes back with play action and underthrows it, and it's picked off by Taiwan Mullen, his second interception of the day. All right, they're responsible for deep, which means the corner, his eyes are going to be inside on the quarterback the whole time. When you have an outbreaking route, you got to know and look at the safeties. That's cover two piece of cake. You cannot throw an outbreaking route against cover two. Third and 14 after the penalty. Tonga Bailoa wide open. And was that pass picked off? I believe it was. Intercepted Taiwan Mullen. The 14th pick of the season for the IU defense. He just throws the wrong ball. There's a receiver right on the seam. You got to throw it inside to Demas, and that's a touchdown. It was thrown with a little bit too much finesse and thrown to the back shoulder. Drive that to the front shoulder. Getting a fresh set of downs for his offense. 15 yards there. Pressure. Ball is out. As Mertz was taken down. And they're saying second down. Uh, how about this hit by Mullen? Mertz has no idea. He's thinking he's protected. His the field eyes are to the left. Recovered by the defense. First down, Indiana. First down, Indiana. Fumble recovery. Timeout. That is James Miller coming up with the recovery there after Mullen just crashed home on Mertz. Not the exit. And the last hurrah, they were looking for, but they deserve so much to be celebrated. The end zone incomplete. 
The intended target was prior. He's got a big third down here for his offense. Third and four. To the end zone. Contested and incomplete. Pryor couldn't come up with it. It was a great job by Mullen on the outside. Collapsing on the seam. So often in college football, you see that slot fade. Right there it was again.